Kuku. Are you good? Okay. Well, you can lay down. So anyway, uh, this is a test. We'll see if it works. So first of all, hello and greetings to, and I probably, I'm not pronouncing your name completely correctly, Mayim Biala. Uh, and forgive me if I've mispronounced it. I'm sure it's been said a million times and I still can't get it right. But I just got done watching your video, Five Things That You Didn't Know About Me. And first of all, bless your heart. Um, and uh, guten Tag, nach Sie. Uh, I don't speak Yiddish. My, my grandmother and my father spoke Yiddish. May they rest in peace. Uh, I speak a little bit of German, very, very little. But I was actually rather touched by your video. And uh, I just think you're a very nice, sweet, warm person. Not to gush necessarily, but I'm doing it anyway, I guess. <laughs> anyway, um, I originally was going to write in the comments section, and I thought, well, no, she's been big and brave and made a video. I could probably do the same thing. I've got technology. I can do that. So that's what I decided to do for good, bad, or otherwise. Who knows? My puppy is adjusting herself in the back of me. You can't see her, but she likes to share the chair with me. That's a good puppy. Anyway, um, so one of the things you mentioned in your video. Oh, right, backing up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm not really good at linear thought. Uh, now I've lost my track. Oh, great. As I said, this is a test. Backing up a bit. What was I going to say? I thought about doing something in kind uh, as a thank you to your sharing. And one of the things that you mentioned in your videos that you don't like creepy crawlies. Now, one of the creepy crawlies that I would imagine that you and most people don't like uh, are mice. Little rodents. Yeah, they're about that big. And I and my little family, which is two dogs, um, eight rescued parakeets and a number of fish, there are actually four, five, six, seven, eight fish. So, eight fish, eight parakeets. Oh, cool. Anyway, um, and everybody does have names, which I won't go into, because why would you be interested in that? But what you might be interested in is what to do about mice without having to kill them or trap them. Having You don't have to touch them at all. You see, because I have dogs, I don't use the rodent side, the poisons. Uh, and there's a reason for that. The reason is that the type of poison that's used to kill mice, what it does is basically it dehydrates them. Now I have a fish tank and I also have water bowls for the dogs. So a mouse that is poisoned and desperately seeking water, what are they gonna do? They're going to seek the water that's available. And the problem with that is, of course, the dogs can get a hold of the mice, eat the mice, and then become very sick themselves. So this video is both a thank you to you for your video and also to try and be helpful. What I use instead of the poisons is I use peppermint oil. Now you can get these online. Hold on. I'll be right back. You get this online, and there's a number of companies that uh, you can search online. This one is from a company called Gem Light. You can look for them. And, uh, and I've used various, I've used Swanson's and a variety of them. And it doesn't have to be food grade peppermint. In fact, you don't want to do that anyway because it's far too expensive. Uh, I forget how much I paid for this, but what I did is I got a sprayer, a cheap little sprayer um, from Home Depot. 
Yeah, and I'll show you that next. Right here. Okay. It looks like a monstrosity, but it's not. It's actually quite small. Okay. And it's 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 a sprayer. It's completely clean when you get it. So you can use all kinds of chemicals with this sprayer, but I use be right back. I use peppermint oil and a little bit of water to dilute it. What I do is I spray that, and the reason that I got the sprayer is because it shoots farther than I can reach. And I spray that in behind the oven, uh, in closets that, um, like my one water closet here. Oh, by the way, my home is 520 square feet, and I love every square inch of it. Uh, but we are set back, my house is set back against a, a tree line. Well, anytime that you are, your house is set next to a tree line, you're going to especially have problems with rodents because tree lines are great hiding places for all kinds of rodents. And the other reason that I don't recommend using any kind of poison uh, when dealing with rodents is rodents are an important food source to owls, hawks, eagles, osprey, uh, all kinds of animals rely on rodents as a food source. So I don't want to poison those animals. I also don't want to poison the dogs that I love and they're my life. They're the reason that I'm alive. So I come up with a way, rodents in general, this includes mice, rats, squirrels, and I think it might even include possum and raccoon. All of hate the smell of peppermint. I mean, they despise it. They will get away from it. One of the mice, if you've ever seen this kind of mouse, uh, it has a brown upper body, uh, top of its body, and its belly is white. Those are field mice. Field mice actually don't like humans. They will come into your home if they can, uh, but only to get out of the cold. So if you live in cold country, Oh, by the way, I'm in Lingolstown, Pennsylvania, central Pennsylvania, so we do have cold here. And the mice will try to get in just about the time it starts to drop below 40 or 30 degrees at night. That's about the time when you can expect that mice might try to get into your home. So what I do is I spray my peppermint mixture because peppermints is a little bit expensive, so I do dilute it a little bit with water and I'll spray it in the water closet, which has a, a the pipes that come in. Mice only need very little space to get in. So that can be just enough space around your pipes to where your mice, or not your mice, the mice, can get into the house. And of course, any kind of space they can make larger with their teeth. Okay, so I spray in the water closet. I spray behind the stove. I spray in cracks where I think maybe a mouse would go there. Even if I've never seen it, I assume if it's small enough, they might go in there. I also spray in the ceiling tiles. So I've lifted some of the tiles and the sprayer comes in very handy because the length of the wand increases my reach, of course. And then the, the, the length of the spray actually will cover a lot of the tile up there. And I will tell you, knock on wood, let me find some wood to knock on, I can do it on my books. I got lots of books. Anyway, besides the point. Uh, yep, I lost my train of thought again. That's me. Anyway, I have been very lucky that as long as I maintain the uh, peppermint applications, which I do at least once a week, and by the way, it makes your house smell pretty nice, too. Um, if you like peppermint, unfortunately, my mother, may she rest in peace, hated peppermint, so that would be a different kind of problem. But if you are okay with peppermint or you actually like it, then you're in good luck. Uh, I have not had, knock on wood, as I said, any mouse infestations while I use the peppermint. Granted, if you don't use it regularly, you're going to see them come back. 
Now me, my house is especially attractive to rodents because of the parakeets. They have seed. Naturally, mice love free food. What animal doesn't? So I have to be even more diligent and, and I'm pretty diligent about it. But anyway, so I wanted to offer this to you um, as number one, like I said, a thank you to you for your wonderful video and just being so wonderful and sharing of yourself and to offer you something in return that might actually maybe be useful to you. Thank you again for all that you do. I wish you well, Sei gesund, and uh, bless your good heart. Stay well.